All right, so this is, at this stage of the game, this is your well in the stage two. Um, and the objective was to commit to a, or, or perfect your template, have a master template, have a master template with tabs, and then you can use that to trace out and make multiples of your um, invented form. So I'm gonna put these away. Now, if you kind of see what I have here, this is one idea. And what, what I can do is I can just tape these together as a temporary fix just to get an idea of what things look like. So I can tape this guy to this guy, right? Um, and I probably just want to tape the back so it doesn't fall on me. I'll tape the back here. All right, so, and then I could make another one of those. And what I'm making here is a unit form. One is a single cell and one is a unit form. And before I go any further, I just wanna say that as I was making these, by the time I got to the last one, which is this one here, this is probably my best form. And there's a, there's a few issues with the, each and every one of these. Um, there are subtle problems, not major where it's gonna prevent me from using them in the final piece, but the final, the, the most recent one took me, what, two, four, six, eight to finally perfect my process. And again, you might, you're gonna make between 40 and 80 of these. In some cases, it might be less, in some cases, it might be more. Um, and that's gonna dictate what you're gonna do. So I am, I'm putting two and two and two together. The reason I'm doing that way is um, you wanna work in units of two, three, or four. Don't try to glue the entire uh, radial design together if that's what you end up doing. It's just an idea. And if I were to go with that radial design, I'm just trying to make these um, easier to use at the moment. If I were to go with that radial design, I can make three of them. Um, oops, did I do this backwards? What did I do? That's right. Okay. I can make three of these and See if I can pick them up at the same time and present it like this, uh, one, two, three. I just don't know how I would glue. I'd have to make another one of these to see if I could glue them side by side because I think it's kind of flat on the bottom, but I'm not sure yet. So that's, that's a possibility. Another thing you, I could start to play around with is just kind of checking out how these things glue together face to face, right? This could also be a unit form. I could put two more together this way, like this. Who knows? Um, try it out. So once you start making these, the, the options in some cases are endless. One, two, three. Um, so far, I'm digging the radial design. I think that could be cool. I'm just kind of exploring what's happening here. I don't know if I like where this is going. I'm just looking at it. And then I'm gonna to try to repeat that same thing here. I think it was just, I think that's what, it, what I did. And it's frustrating. Too. It's like, eh, I don't know, why should I, how far am I gonna take this? Cause I kind of don't like the idea already. So then I have two of the exact same things. These are uniforms now. Now what can I do with these guys? How, does these, how do these go together? And I'm thinking, eh, well that's kind of cool. I could glue them together here. One goes in one direction, one goes in another direction. Um, so there's a system, this thing keeps falling off.
So there's a certain system here, which I think is kind of interesting where it feels like fingers or something twisting and turning. I don't know what the next move would be, but you can make this again and then uh, put it underneath of it, but it doesn't look like it has much to glue to. So I'm not sure what the next stage would, would be. I'd have to explore this a little bit more. Now I'm gonna go back to the drawing board. I know my radial, de oops, just ripped my paper. Um, I know my radial design works. I know I can go that direction if I want to, but I want to explore as many options as I possibly can. So that's my backup plan. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to put two or three together a certain way. Um, I think that's what I had a second ago. They do fit together well that way. Um, but what if I did something like this instead? Or what if I started to rotate? Um, instead of having it go seam to seam, as you can see that, all I have to do is rotate it a little bit. But in this case, this is where it gets really kind of difficult to tape. Tape wants to stick to your finger more than the... There you go. You gotta tape both sides. It, it can get frustrating depending on, depending on what you have. And then basically do that again. So I'm just gonna undo this guy here. And if you look at all the previous student work, you can kind of see all the different ideas students explored. Um, so now I have to look at it the same way I'm holding it because some of these forms are a little more complex than the others. All right, so there's that. And then we'll tape it here again. I'm just kind of eyeing it right now. Um, If I do end up going with this system of putting it together, you can always measure like a half an inch from the corner here and just line that up. And that way it'll be consistent. I'm just kind of getting an idea of what this might do. Uh, this is on the corner here, this is on the corner here. It starts to turn in this way. And I don't know what would happen, but what I could do is I could uh, put three more together the same way, and then I connect those three together. Um, and maybe if it comes full circle, I don't know if it's going to kind of wrap, connect, reconnect back to itself, which I doubt, or it might wrap underneath above it, almost like a coil spring, which could be interesting too. Um, but I do like how the points are coming out. And whenever you stagger something, you or rotate something, you create another plane shift. That's a good thing. More plane shift means more light contrast. Um, and also another thing you want to think about when, when you're exploring your options and uh, uh, think about what you want to do is uh, exploit the most interesting part of the form. To me, the most interesting part of the form is this kind of uh, this little area here and this point that comes out. If I was hiding that and I was showing this um, more than I was showing this, I'm not exploiting the best part. So you wanna exploit the best part of the design of the form itself. And in this case, definitely these spikes that come out are, are, are interesting. I don't like this idea, so I'm just gonna scrap that. But before I scrap any idea, I get my cell phone and I take a picture of it. I document it for your own records and also you're gonna submit um, three different I believe it's three different ways of um, putting your unit forms together to see the end result. Um, so I'm kind of liking this. I like my original idea that it just kind of happened that way, but every design, every 3D form is going to offer different possibilities. Um, you just kind of have to play with it. You have to explore it, experiment, try things out. Just, um, but the most important thing, a flat face 
has to connect to a flat face. Like that's a flat face to a flat face. And you can see that I'm, I'm rotating this. So the next one I would probably rotate in, but I can't rotate in because it won't glue. So that might not work out for this particular design. Um, so in this case, I'll try to see how they, you know, if that's pretty obvious of what you could do. And then it kind of creates this, um, That's kind of cool. I didn't really think of that one. Hope I don't forget. Hold on. I'm not going to close the video yet. You can kind of see me thinking this through in real time. Um, these all came together like so. And then the third piece would fit right here. But they don't, because they bend in, they don't touch. Uh, and there's this weird negative space in the middle. Um, so that, that option can't work. What you can't do, you can't glue these together edge to edge. You cannot glue these together edge to edge. And you definitely can't glue these together point to point. It has to be face to face. So if I were to connect these two, I'm just going to do that right now just for curiosity. You're probably going to explore about five to six different ways. You're going to photograph three good ones and send them to me. And I'm going to help you commit um, to one of the designs. I guess it's a little weird. It's a little different than the other. Well, whatever. <laughs> Maybe I glued that together incorrectly. Huh, that's another interesting approach. So now is that now I'm starting to put these together like that. I was looking at this, but then I noticed that something it doesn't seem symmetrical. Um, and I'm looking at this, I'm like, oh, that's kind of, kind of cool. And then you could also rotate it. What if I put it together like this? And then I put another one together that way. I'll take this off. There you go. So I could have one row. This is a good idea. So I could have one row this way, rotating in this direction. The points are pointing in that direction. And I could have a row rotating in this direction. And they glue face to face, just like what you have here. Um, and then you put the next one on. You put this one on, and then you put this one on. Oh wait, no, this one on, like that. And as it, it's gonna make a radial design and one points in one direction, one points in another direction. That could work as a final, final form. Um, there's only 16 of them, so I would probably make double the amount. So I would be making 32 of, of these. Um, that to me is a really good idea and I would go with it. And you definitely want to document something that you know works. So this to me is an important unit form that I do not want to forget. Write it down, photograph it, whatever you got to do. All right, so that's a unit form. And, and who knows, in the end, it, it, you might not even glue them together like this. You might glue them together this way. I'm, I'm just not sure yet. And then the next one goes here, but it, yeah, it goes right on the corner there. That's what I would do. I'm just kind of like haphazardly putting these together. And then this one. Huh, this might lead to some really cool ideas. This one goes right here. Oh, I'm running into a problem. It's not as smooth of a connection as I thought it was gonna be. Well, back to the drawing board. It may or may not work. 
but I might be able to make these guys all the way around and then I can make this one all the way around and then I could stack them upside down almost like an upside down king's hat um, mirrored to itself. All right, so you can see that the possibilities are endless. Explore, experiment, see what options you have and just use this tape. Just be careful when you take it off to not rip your paper. Um, I believe at this point, if you have 20 forms in stage two, you need 20 forms, you'll have an, uh, enough forms to explore several options. So just make sure you make about 20.